Okay, so now we're going to go into what we call dev priorities, or it's another name could be prioritization matrix. Okay, so I'm going to use the application here. And it's very similar to the planner tool. Uh, what you can do is you can um, say finance, finance team priorities, um, priorities around analytics, analytics project. Okay, and then I could say um, rate around what we need to work through for um, this month, for example. Okay, this big project. Okay, so you can totally customize it however you like. And then within here, it's really simple. You just create cards and then you can use this priorities board to work out how you want to do it. You know, this this is totally flexible as well. It could be about any type of um, prioritization that you want to, you know, bring into you know your 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 team or your, or the way you're working, right? Um, you know, it's totally up to you. So I can come in here and I can say, you know, we um, data and you know, uh, financial data um, needed, right? Um, or we could say. Uh, currency currency management dashboard um, financial reporting um, or financial 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 audit details okay and so you can also dive into these further and you can add more information. So maybe we want to um, evaluate, you know, we want to see details around um, transactional, transaction, um, um, trading, trading transactions, um, management, and let's maybe list all the things that we need to order. You could also say, you could also do some collaboration tool, uh, collaboration with your team around here. You could say, um, you know what? Um, what do you think of this list team? Okay, and then you can obviously put colors as well, very similar to the planner tool. Okay, then within here you want to maybe say, okay, well, what is the what is our priorities here? Our priorities um, for this is high. What is the effort level? So to me, the effort level is probably quite high here. So I'm going to place it in there. Financial reporting. The Effort uh, is say low here, but the um, user value is really high. So I'm going to put this up here, right? So on and so forth. So this is how you can use the priorities board. And again, it saves automatically. So then it will save into your personal documents like so. Uh, and then you can jump in and out here with your, and eventually when we have a, your team's documents as well, you'll be able to quickly jump in and here and collaborate within your team you know, very easily around what everyone is actually doing uh, with their Power BI development, their analytics planning, um, you know, what, and, and you know, deciding what, what should we prioritize and what shouldn't we prioritize. That's a whole idea behind this particular application. Okay, so again, another really easy one. Also within here, you can click around the open document in the actual rectangle itself. You could you can turn this to um, shared, so it's a community document. You can comment on it, you can collaborate on it that way, and you'll see now this is a community document here. Okay, so I think that, look, that's all I've got to show you for this one. Not not too difficult, really similar to this one. Um, and you know, very useful for specific use cases, especially if you're trying to um, you know, collaborate with others and, and, and make sure everyone's on the same page and prioritizing what should be prioritized versus, versus not. Okay, that's it. That's all for the prioritization matrix.